Good morning, I am Nuret Faronegas and I'm going to present the following paper titled Testing Students' Performance in Hybrid and Face-to-Face -face Learning, written by Alicia Mastur, Nora Trotz Tierno and me, Nuret Faronegas. The COVID-19 pandemic has uh, affected all society in all ways, even in higher education institutions which have been forced to go from the traditional face-to-face -face learning, where the, usually the professors explain several concepts to um, the students during class, to a hybrid system that combines both online and face-to-face -face learning. Um, this, uh, this adjustment into uh, technological, um, technological learning approaches uh, have, uh, are a challenge for both the students and the faculty. In this context of uncertainty, for example, students usually face some problems uh, trying to um, catch up with the lectures because of their low levels of motivation and attention is Span. Uh, in this case, uh, teachers have been trying to introduce in, in higher education new methodologies in order to attract their attention and also uh, to achieve uh, the effective learning uh, process. Uh, however, have these educational changes had an impact on students' performance? This paper tries to test whether the differences in grades uh, between students that engage in traditional learning and hybrid learning groups are statistically significant. For doing so, uh, analysis of variance have been has been conducted. Now we are going to move into the theoretical framework section where we are going to give answers to some questions such as what is hybrid learning, what are uh, their main challenges, and what are our hypotheses. Hybrid learning is a pedagogical approach where two types of uh, learning approaches are combined. In this case, online and face-to-face -face learning. It, is, uh, it introduces a learning setting where students are divided into different groups. One follows the lecture online, like through different places, depending on, on where, where they decide to be at, and the other follow, uh, follows the lesson in person, in class, as always, like the typical traditional classroom. And the professor is using um, technological um, instruments such as the computer and online platforms such as a Meet, for example, Google Meet or uh, webinar settings in order to uh, explain the different concepts. In this case, uh, we have two different uh, hypotheses. The first hypothesis is um, that learning methods impact uh, the performance of, st of students and therefore there are differences in how um, educational needs, uh, needs are met. And the second hypothesis uh, advocates that students in traditional learning have better performances compared to uh, students uh, engaging in hybrid learning. Hybrid learning, as every educational method, has some benefits and challenges when it is implemented uh, in education. In this type of learning provides students with higher flexibility, giving them facilities in order to manage their own time. And therefore, they can, for example, attend to class when they are ill or uh, consult personal with uh, educational life or even professional life. In this case, it, uh, it, in this way, it can be achieved a more inclusive education, um, being more accessible to every type of a student, even the ones who can't uh, move uh, or live far away from uh, from university. Uh, however, there are some, some challenges. In this case, um, the faculty sometimes face challenges regarding the maximization of remote students because it's difficult sometimes to make sure that they are paying attention on the or they are just doing, not doing other, 
other things and um, and they seem to be uh, concentrated in class, focusing class on class. There are also other um, other challenges regarding, for example, technical problems during class. There might be some um, loss of quality of audio or also video. So um, it is important to make sure that technology is work, working properly. Uh, in this way, uh, also miscommunication problems between students and the faculty arise. And um, professors uh, usually feel it is difficult to pay attention to both uh, students uh, that are face to face and also the ones who are online. Um, therefore, it is important to implement new uh, learning approaches, methodologies that uh, stimulate the uh, participation and active behaviors of students. Now we are going to move into the methodology and results sections where we are going to um, explain the methodology used uh, for conducting the analysis, the ANOVA analysis, and also the results uh, that uh, compare the uh, performance of uh, students engaging in face-to-face -face and hybrid learning. In an effort to design those uh, learning programs that that best meet the current educational needs according to the uh, current um, disrupting and changing context and environment that we are experiences, experiencing, it becomes paramount to uh, carefully evaluate and assess the effectiveness of the hybrid learning uh, method. For this purpose, uh, analysis of variance was conducted to test whether uh, the differences between the grades of traditional and hybrid learning students are statistically significant. Um, for doing so, an analysis uh, of variance was conducted at the ANOVA in particular, uh, where the central tendency, that is the mean differences, are exam examined and al analyzed to test uh, the statistical significance. Therefore, students were classified into two different groups on basis of uh, the learning method uh, applied to this uh, class. Hybrid system, which would be the group one, one and face-to-face -face learning, would, which would be the group two. And here we can see the results of the uh, ANOVA analysis conducted. Remember that the group one corresponds to hybrid learning, whereas group two corresponds to face-to-face -face learning. In the table, we can observe that the mean value of the group two, that is the face-to-face -face learning, is 6.99, higher than the mean of the hybrid method. This indicates that the students learning through traditional methods have higher performances in terms of grades than those who engage in the hybrid system. The standard error of post sample is considered to be low, as the standard deviation too. This suggests that the dispersion of data from the mean is not very high. However, the, the, um, when we see the minimums and maximums of the sample and uh, different groups, we see that the dispersion rates from group two, one, sorry, is higher than group two. The spread of grades, uh, grades of hybrid students is bigger compared with the dispersion of students learning through traditional methods. This indicates that students which engage into face-to-face -face, uh, methods um, tend to obtain similar grades compared to uh, grades of students in hybrid systems, which tend to diverge more. In this sense, this difference may be explained due to differences in motivation and attention spans uh, of students as they may obtain a basic, passive behavior and may find problems in maintaining the interest during the lectures uh, when they are at home uh, uh, attending class online. Similarly, the upper limit is exactly the same in both groups, 938, but uh, the lower limit is higher in the group 2, that is face-to-face, -face, uh, compared with group 1.
To conclude, the findings show that the learning method affects, impacts the performance of students uh, being the grades of those students who engage in face-to-face -face learning, that is, traditional classes uh, method, higher than those who did both online and in person, that is, the ones who were in the hybrid learning method. And th this uh, suggests that it is necessary to reinforce the hybrid method with new uh, met learning methodologies, active learning methodologies, to address the challenges associated with hybrid learning, uh, ensuring in this way the attention and motivation levels um, needed in order to guarantee uh, an effective and optimal uh, learning achievement. This study is limited by the small sample of students analyzed and should be replicated in order to generalize the results. Thank you so much for your attention. Now I'm glad to answer to any uh, question or doubt you may have and also to receive any comment that uh, may uh, improve our work. Thank you so much.